um, I'm Dubisi Ekekwe. I'm from Abia State, specifically in the beautiful city of Ovim, in the Sukweto local government of, of the state. I, I, I started my life living in the village, and after that, I went to Federal University of uh, Technology, where, where I graduated as the best student of my class in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. I spent a couple of years here in Lagos, and then from there, I went to United States of America. I earned a PhD in electrical and computer engineering at the Johns Hopkins University. I had the opportunity of creating technologies in medical robotics and participated in working in some of the most exciting technology innovations, even in the iPhone. I was one of the team members that designed the accelerometer that was used in one of the early generations of the iPhone. From there, I went to Carnegie Mellon University, where I became a professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. I founded Fast Micro Group. Uh, Fast Micro Group basically has three divisions. We have an investment banking firm, we have an agricultural technology company within our technology business, and we also have an adversary services. Yeah, actually, uh, the Zemvos, uh, which is the name of our product, uh, is, is, is a very smart intelligent system. If you put it in the soil, it collects information like temperature, moisture, humidity, nutrients, electroconductivity, pH scale, and then uh, sends that data into a cloud server uh, through Wi-Fi, GSM, or satellite. So right there in the cloud, we have this thing called artificial intelligence. These are basically mathematical models that basically use that data we have collected from the farm to make sense of what is happening in that farm. So based on that data, we can now tell the farmer what to farm, how to farm, when to farm, and how to farm. So, the essence of using smart devices is a new dawn in the field of agriculture. I think the government has really understood clearly that this could be uh, that technology that can help us to build a very viable architecture for the new agricultural ecosystem in this country. So, the reception has been huge. My interest in agriculture, not necessarily in the farming process, but in the technology aspect of agriculture has to do with um, the frustration I see that people are putting 12 hours in a day. Some are putting more than that, yet they are still very poor. How can we improve agricultural yield? How can we improve agricultural productivity? As an engineer, I believe that technology has a solution to that. That is actually how the interest came. It's a very challenging thing because uh, most part of northeastern Nigeria is basically out of reach of farmers. And that is also going to depress the total capacity for us to produce uh, as a Nigerian nation. And if you look at it increasingly, most young people are not seeing agriculture as a business. So that also makes it very impossible for us to use the energy of the youth, of the young people, in the agricultural process. So if we do not change the agricultural landscape, if we do not change the architecture of what we define as agricultural practice, we are going to continuously see a decrease in our productivity. We want to see how information and communication technology, how electronics, big data analytics, computational models can help us build a new agricultural architecture where people that are putting these efforts can actually make a living doing that. That is the big interest why I'm doing it. Okay, I'm DBC Akekwe, and you are watching Guardian TV. Uh, this is where you get informed, this is where you learn great things, this is where you meet legends. And please keep watching. Thank you.